Betoniarze w Anglii macie pozdrowienia z Polski. Be, 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 beton. Yeah, I don't know anything you just said. I really just come to see what exactly you were doing in this backyard because I'm probably gonna buy the neighborhood and I really want to know what you guys are digging this hole for. But I'll, you know what? I'll let you get back to it. Anyway, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's me, Jimmy, back with more Vintage Survival here in Colonia. And today we have a whole beautiful field of oats that need to be absolutely harvested so we can make a rich profit from our our canola is growing. It's almost done and we'll be able to harvest that and then put these two together. That way we'll have two giant fields my next acquisition after we bought this one is going to be this field right here. I definitely want to purchase this so we'll have all these fields in this little bitty area. What I really want to do today though is get rid of this harvester because I do not want to harvest the oats with this. It's terrible. It's, it, it, I just I just can't take it anymore. So I definitely want to sell this. We might have to take some contracts and i really don't want to take another loan but i really just uh, i think i'm i'm okay with going in debt just a little bit to get rid of this so that's definitely in the plans today so if we sell this we own this let's see how much we get for it nine thousand dollars and i think that's about about ten thousand twelve thousand dollars short of what where we want to be for that because i know the harvesters that we do have that are available to purchase i think there's a b zone that's uh 19 000. the header is 65 so that puts you at 25 5 and then a 20 000 massey right here beautiful beautiful massey so 26 that's so a 500 dollars difference they're both the same horsepower and i believe the same capacity so i'm not really too worried about that so let's go ahead and hop in this for one last time it's gonna take us many moons to get over here when it's driving normally without the header down it's fine 11 miles an hour i can deal with that that's okay let's go ahead and see how much money we will get for this we might repair it as i have been told uh if you repair them before you sell you get a little bit more money back so let's go ahead and putt putt this thing over to the store get it sold and see what kind of money we're sitting on so we can buy a brand new harvester all right well we've done it we got we got some money back for our old harvester and not sure what i'm hitting maybe got to pick up my header i don't know what i'm stuck on there's something something in the ground not sure but we were able to get recover some of our money back from our old harvester. Not a lot, but enough. And we were able to purchase this brand new, well, brand new to us, Massey Ferguson 3640. This is going to make harvesting so much better. And I feel like we can take more contracts now when it comes to harvesting. So I think that's going to do us well when we need to do, you know, contracts to pick up uh, more money. So let's go ahead and get this bad bad boy back to the farm and see how quickly we can harvest these oats let's go ahead and get this header down we gotta open up there we go turn it on and let's see what kind of production we get out of these oats oh this is much faster i know we're kind of going downhill and i'm okay with that but it's still going faster than two miles per hour and that and the the, the, the cutting with and the working with is uh, much better Let's go ahead and look at this beautiful, beautiful machine. Absolutely gorgeous, just soaking up these oats. But we're gonna go ahead and harvest this one real quick. That way we can see if we can pick up a contract for December until our canola is finished. So let's go ahead and get this whole patch harvested real quick.
pretty quick work of this field. It's not as big as I thought it was going to be. When you're looking at the oats, when you're looking at the crop, you know, when you're standing in it, it looks like it's so much bigger, but it looks like we're only getting about 1,600 liters of oats. But guess what? Those are free oats and free money, and I'm okay with it. So let's go ahead and pick this up. We're finished with this. So we can put this away for now. Go ahead and turn this off. Climb this hill right here. We'll, uh, we'll go hook up our trailer. Go ahead and dump the oats in it. I was told that you can go ahead and sell at the train station because you really won't spend that much money. So I do appreciate the input. Actually, all the input that everybody's been giving when it comes to this series and all the other series. Y'all are absolutely goaded, and I appreciate every single one of you. So let's go ahead and jump out of here. We'll hop on the old dutes, our beautiful dutes. Get going. We'll hook up to this. We'll look at the contracts next to see exactly what they have. I don't know what we want to do. I know we have this new harvester. Well, I stabbed I stab the brand new harvester. Oh, we're in a little bit of a, a little bit of a pickle. Let's see if we can get this. Not sure why we're acting the way we are, tractor and trailer. Let's go ahead and see if we can get the. What am I stuck on? What am I stuck on? Let's see. Let's see if we can get the old Massey closer over here to dump out our oats that we harvested. There we go. Beautiful oats. Filling up our little wagon. I'd like to buy another wagon also, but I don't think that's really worth spending money at this point because uh, we're only sitting on that many oats that we just harvested. So I think we will leave the trailers purchase alone. We'll go ahead and drop the header and we're good. Oh, what a beautiful machine. The old Massey uh, that made quick work of the harvesting. So let's go into the saving content. Let's go into the contracts. Let's see if there's any contracts that we could probably make a couple of dollars going into January with until it's time for the canola. There is a sewing job over there for $1,500. They want sunflowers. I don't have one of those. Now this, oh, that's parsnips. We're gonna stay away from root vegetables just because I feel like that will take a really long time. And I know you kind of get what you pay for. Let's see, that's 2,400, that's 30. Nope, there's more of those. We don't want those either. Cultivating. We can do a quick cultivating job over on 23. Let's see what 23 looks like. Let's see what 23 looks like. Is it big? Is it small? What are we looking at? 23, so 23 is back here. We can go do 23, make a make a couple thousand dollars. Couple of thousand. So let's go back to our contracts. And old Piotr, sorry, uh, terribly, uh, uh, ruined that one, but it's okay. Let's go ahead and drop our trailer of oats over here. There's a giant hole in my yard. I just realized it. Pretty, pretty big hole in my yard. Let's go ahead and get the cultivator hooked up. We really like cultivating. Cultivating is probably one of my favorite things to do in Farming Simulator 22. And our cultivator is not big, but it'll get the job done. We have no complaints. So let's go out this way. We'll pull up our map, make sure we're going the correct way. 23 is up the road. I'm still trying to learn. Calm down. I'm still trying to learn the map because every time I play this, I end up going the wrong way every time. And I don't know why. Maybe I just can't read maps. Maybe, maybe it's just me. So let's go ahead and get over to field 23, do some cultivating, get us some money, and I'll meet you over there for a Piotr. All right, I believe this is field 23. Make sure I'm not doing the wrong one. Let's see. Nope. I almost tried to uh, mess somebody else's field up. That would have been absolutely terrible of me. Okay, this isn't too bad. We can get this done pretty quick. So let's go ahead and get this field cultivated for a Piotr and uh, make us some quick cash. Let's go.
right, this uh, this contract is finished. I mean, do we do we be respectable and finish up the cultivating here just for, you know, people's eyes? You know, make sure it's done correctly. We are finished with this, though. I will go ahead and finish up these stripes. I mean, it's only noon, so it's not like we're running out of time for anything. I don't know if I want to pull a harvesting contract or not. Because I know in January, we're going to have to harvest the canola. And the canola, depending on the yield, I don't expect the yield to be crazy good. Just because it was our first field. And I don't think it was worth, you know what I'm saying? The, pre the preparation wasn't there. We just didn't have enough. So I know in January, I thought about cultivating the two fields that we've already done um, for the sorghum and the oats to go ahead and flip that. But I think in January, we're gonna harvest and we're gonna completely redo that whole area of our farm. I don't know, I need to leave a little trails. I thought about maybe if we combine all three to make one giant super field for things, and then we can start buying up the properties around us. But I think that road is the only way to get back to the store from the property. So I don't wanna make a pathway that's going to hinder us doing what we need to do at the farm uh, and running over crops and damaging, you know, and, and lo losing revenue. So I don't think we're going to do that. I just wanted, I really thought the other field that we bought would have yielded just a little bit more, but we will completely, we're going to go crazy on those two fields. We're going to fertilize. We're going to lime. We're going to pick up rocks. We're going to do whatever we need to do to make sure we get the most out of the entire area next time and plus we got to figure out what we want to plant we need to take a look at the future in january see how long everything takes to grow and see what's going to make us the most profitable because i also like i said i want to buy the area beside us and i might bulldoze that house that was super loud that way we can have a bigger place maybe to put down some a chicken coop or you know that way we have well, get it get it in gear you got it come on come on dudes you got it dudes we got rid of the ursus because uh it was having trouble come on dudes you got it dudes get up the hill dudes um so yeah that's that's the big plan for january i think december a little bit slower for us just because we're waiting on our last crop to finish up so let me finish up this little triangle we'll get back to the farm make a gam a game plan and see what we need to do next month so i will see you over at the farm all right we've made it back home and yeah i think we might shut it down for december because uh, i think there's really not much else to do i don't want to start a harvesting contract like i said earlier because it takes just a little bit longer and i don't know if we're going to run out of daylight especially it is a brand new it is brand new and it's beautiful but it's still not the best. It is better than the other Vistula. But yes, January is going to be a big year for us. Or big month, I guess you could say. A new year. We're going to go ahead and get all that canola. Figure out the field situation. Get them prepared to maximize profits. Because that's what we need to do to buy this entire neighborhood. This will be mine. This will be mine. I am coming after you, neighbors, and your loud music. I'm going to bulldoze your house. I'm going to take your field. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all the support on the channel. Please leave a like, a comment. Tell me what your favorite tractor is if you're not a farmer google it either way i appreciate all of you leave a like leave a comment think about subbing to the channel we are almost at a thousand subscribers a thousand and i can't do it without every single one of you you all are amazing be sure to take care of yourself and good night